Schedule 1 of the Sale of Land Regulations 2014 and any other conditions that have been made available to you prior to the start of today's proceedings. On behalf of our Brian Real Estate and our vendors, I'd like to welcome you on our very special auction, number two, Solway Close in Furniture Gully. As always, my first pleasure to thank the vendors for entrusting us with the sale of their property and I do wish you all very well with your bidding. The contract today, ladies and gentlemen, has been prepared by Victorian Statewide Conveyancing. I truly believe everything you need to know has been included in the documentation. You can have comfort in that fact and bid with absolute confidence. The goods to be sold, including today's purchase price, are all fixed floor coverings, window furnishings, electrical light fittings and all fittings and fixtures of a permanent nature as inspected here today. The title details referred to in a certificate of title, volume 09194, folio 213, shows at lot 69 on planner subdivision number 119185, together with land improvements, is known as 2 Solway Close in Ferntree Gully. The vendor statement or section 32 is otherwise known, shows municipal rates payable to the City of Knox, water rates South East Water, total outgoings do not exceed $3,000. Vic Roads have no interest in the property and the zoning is general residential. For those not familiar with auction rules, I'll conduct today's auction under the following guidelines. The property is offered for sale by public auction and subject to the vendor confirming the reserve price. The highest bid whose bid is accepted will be the purchase. The auctioneer may refuse any bid and no bid once made shall be retracted. If any dispute arises respecting any bid as the auctioneer, I'll determine the dispute or simply resubmit the property at the last undisputed bid. There's a nominee clause included in the contract to enable bid on behalf of another person. It's also a director's guarantee should be bidding in the name of a company. By law, ladies and gentlemen, I must advise that auction rules prohibit an auctioneer from accepting a bid or an offer on the property after it's been knocked down, sold to the successful bidder. The vendors do have a reserve price, and as the auctioneer, I'll indicate bidders upon request. The law prohibits three things, false bids, major disruption to the auction, and it also prohibits one person from attempting to prevent another person from making a bid on the property. There are substantial fines for anyone engaged in such conduct. The rules of auction do permit vendor bids. The words that I use when I make a bid on behalf of the vendor during the auction are the words vendor bid by law. As the auctioneer, I'm the only person can make a bid on behalf of the vendor. The terms of today's sale, ladies and gentlemen, really, really straightforward stuff. Deposit equal to 10% of the purchase price paid and the balance in 30 or 60 days from today's date, unless you try to negotiate it with the vendor. If you do bid today, ladies and gentlemen, you are success the successful purchaser of the property. All representations and worries you make are based on your own inspection, your own research and the vendor's interpretation of the documentation. Before I go any further, is everybody comfortable with what I've had to say so far? Yes, no questions, fantastic. Before we do present the property for your competition and bidding, let's just touch on what we've got the opportunity to own here at number two, Solway Close in Ferntree Gully. Ladies and gentlemen, what a good, honest home. The property as is, nothing's hidden. What you see is what you get. Nothing's been covered up, nothing's been put to the side. It's genuinely what you see is what you get. Accommodation wise, ladies and gentlemen, Three bedrooms, one bathroom, a double car garage on such a wonderful piece of land, this much short of 700 square metres. The value of the property is only escalated by location. Here we are nestled in the bowl of a court, no through, through traffic, beautifully heavily treed. And from what I understand, within a two kilometre radius of where we're standing, there are five schools. You have the Mountain Gate Shopping Centre, only a matter of minutes in the car. And before we ask you to bid to buy to own, I want to run through a really quick statistic with you. If we were to take all of the superannuation that's held in Australia by Australians, it's $2.3 trillion. The Australian Stock Exchange has a value of $1.8 trillion. All commercial real estate in Australia equals $0.9 trillion. Residential property, on the other hand, take those three figures and double it, and you still don't get to the value of residential property in this country. We have a value of $7.7 .7 trillion in residential property. So what that tells us, your true pathway to wealth is via real estate, uh, via residential property. Your pathway to personal wealth starts at that driveway, and there's three steps into this property. But prior to taking those three steps, there's three really important steps you have to do first. Bid, to buy, to own. That's enough for me folks, it's time to put it over to the market to let us know if you're prepared to invest to own. Number two, Solway Close in Ferntree Gully. Fair and reasonable start now, call it out loud. 
What can I say and what can I say? Gee, I tell you what, those words of wisdom whipped them up into a frenzy there. Boy, oh boy, I thought you'd be like seagulls in a chip with this one. A very reasonable start. What can I say? Call it out loud. 575. At 575, I'm fairly bidden off now. At 575, I'm fairly bidden, we'll rise in 20s. At 575, now looks 595. At 575, I'm fairly bid. Take the 595. First call at 5595, I'm bid. At 595, I'm fairly bidden off it. Take it 615. At 595,000, fairly bid, we're in 20. Take it 615, sorry, 615, I'm bid. At 615, I'm fairly bidden off it. How does 635 sound to you? At 615,000, now we're going in 20s. First call at 615,000. Second call, go 635. Morning. Say again? 620. 620, now we want 20 on top to make it 635. At 615, how about you go 15 and we'll round up to 630? Yes? I can't hear you, matey. 620. No, no, it's such a big drop. At 615 on bid. At 615,000, everyone has it the same. Benefit courtesy. How does 10 sound at 25? At 615,000 now, fairly bid. Take a 625. Yes, 625 on bid. At 625, same courtesy, you in 10. At 625,000 now, fairly bid. Go 635. First call, 625,000. Second call. Oh but I was so firm with this fella here. I don't want him throwing things at me. Go 635. 6.30. I'll take you 30 now. At 630,000 now, I'm fairly bid. Have the same benefit at five. At 630,000 now, I'm fairly bid and offered. Go 635. First call at 630. 635, fresh bidding now. At 635,000 now, I'm fairly bid. At 635 now, take the 40, sir. At 635,000. 640 on bid. At 640 now. That is 545 now. At 645, 650, yes. At 650,000 in the front. At 650,000 now. Another five to make it 55 for two. 655 on bid. At 655, I'm fairly bidding off it. Fives aren't working. Let's go 665, yes? Is that on the market yet? We're on the market. We're selling. At 655, take 660. 660 on bid. At 660,000 now. I'm fairly bidding off it. We're on the market and selling. At 660,000, I'm fairly bid. Call three times, three times only. Another five. At five, I'm bid. At 665, I'm fairly bid and offered. At 665,670, yes. At 670, I'm fairly bid. 700. 700, fresh, great bidding now. At 700, I'm bid. At 700,000, now I'm fairly bid and offered. Another five goes 705, sir. At 700,000, 705, I'm bid. At 705,000, now I'm fairly bid and offered. We're in fives now. At 705, on the market selling. It's against you now. Go 710. Yes. First call at 700. Go two and a half. Go 7075. We'll get to where we need 7075 on bid. At 707,500, we're fairly bid off it. Take 10, sir. At 707,500, we're bid. First call now. The second. It's against you, sir. I'm bid. At 706,000 now, I'm fairly bid. 707. At 710 now. At 710,000 now, sir, where would you like to be? At 710,000. 11. 11 now. Take 15, sir. At 711 is the bid. At 711 is the fairly bid not for now. I can't help thinking about the when I say 711. At 711, I'm fairly bid. Take 715. <coughs> At 713 now. At 713, I'm bid. At 713,000 now, I'm fairly bid. It's against you, sir. At 713,000. It's against you, sir. Round up to 715. First call at 713,000. Second, 14. 14 on bid. At 714, 15 if you choose. At 714, 15 on bid. At 715,000 now, it's against you, sir. At 715,000. First call. Got a bit quiet over here, matey. 
720 I'm bid. At 720 now, I'm fairly bidding off it. That's against my friend at the rear. At 720,000. For the first call at 720. Another one, sir, make it 721. The second call. 722 I'm bid. At 722,000 now, I'm fairly bid. Nominate your bid in the front here, sir. At 722,000 now, I'm fairly bidding off it. I'll call it three times, three times only. We're on the market, it's selling. Sir, it's against you in the front here. One more. One more, 723. Sir, in the back, 725. 723 on bid. At 725 on bid. At 725,000 now, I'm fairly bid off it. It's against you, sir. First call at 725. The second call at seven and a quarter. 26 on bid. At seven and a What's that? Thank you, Sue. I appreciate your effort. And so does the vendor. At 726, I'm fairly bid. At 726,000, fairly bid. And offered at 30 now. At 730,000. At 730,000, I'm fairly bid. And offered. Sir, in the middle, in the centre. For the first call at 730. Second call, the third, the final call at 730,000. 735. Oh. 735 on bid. At 735,000 now, take it to 40, sir. At 735,000 now, I'm fairly bidding up. The first call at 735. 500, 735, 5. At 735,500, fairly bid. At 735,500, I'm fairly bidding off it. Sir? 740. At 40 now. At 740,000, I'm fairly bid. At 740, I have. First call, 740. Second call. Third, final call. At 740,000. You're definitely out, sir. Yep. Done. Yep. We're all done silent. We are selling. <laughs> sell, 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 I will. Sold. Congratulations for the purchase. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks very much for your attendance today. The staff will be around for a few moments, so if you've got any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask. Again, thanks very much for attending. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and most importantly, stay safe.